Four man rush, the throw down the middle. Pass is complete to Michael Weiss, the tight end. One of their best targets. And he's going to have to do some blocking today, but comes up big there on third and ten. By the, uh, the big fellas up front for Sanford, allowing the protection for Welch. And they go for a trick play. It's Washington around the edge. He's to the ten, the five, and he dives for the pylon, but he stepped out of bounds first. And the electric Montrell Washington. They average 37 points a game. Washington is in the backfield with Welch. He takes the toss. He dives at the goal line. He's in. Touchdown, Washington. The Bulldogs take a 6-0 first quarter lead in Gainesville. Just a little, not even an option play, just more of a, almost a toss. As he cut. But the other games, uh, the whole season just nine catches. Now this is going to be a house call. Touchdown, Gators. With defenders left grasping in his wake, Malik Davis takes it in. Third and five. It was... An offside penalty against the Gators. Time in the pocket. Wide open, Mike. And he throws wide open. It's complete. And all the way down the sideline, Michael Weiss. Touchdown, Sanford. The Bulldogs are not messing around this Saturday afternoon. Somehow, Weiss just leaks out. And it's a busted coverage on the outside. And the only one that can make a tackle right there in the back end is Torrance. And Torrance just misses. Just absolutely whiffs on Weiss. Yeah, it's taken a huge step back, especially in, in the pass game. It's, it's got to get better with the big plays. There's a big one right there. Exactly what they were hoping for with the ball down the middle. It's Gamble again. His second huge play of the day. First in goal, Florida. The 28-yard catch in the first drive, and now another big one here in the second. A fake quarterback run. Throw to the end zone. Touchdown, Gators. How's that for a quick strike response? You know, three offsides and now a, a holding on the defense, on Elon. Welch with a clean pocket. Floats it outside for Stanton, the running back, who's got room in front. He stumbles through some missed tackles. He's into the end zone. A third Samford touchdown in the opening quarter. Welch and, and Stanton just going up and down the field. Liam Welch already 11 for 18 for 177 yards passing Mike Cousins in the first quarter in the swamp. Am I reading that wrong? They should win this game. But right now the Sanford team has showed up and, and, and their offense has played tremendous. Jones Too takes easy. it. Clear path into the end zone. Another short drive. Touchdown Florida. 31-yard score. Well, that's what Emory Jones can do. I mean, this rushing attack is one of the best in college football, and nearly half the yards come from the quarterback position. So the RPO game is big, but a great job by Anderson stringing it out. Wells design roll out first down. He takes a shot deep downfield for Montrell Washington. Oh, wow. My. To run a screen. Well, Welch keeps it. He's through. Touchdown. Wow. Forget the odds. Welch bets on himself, and the Bulldogs retake the lead. Calls his own number, and he is in the house. So he scampered for 39 yards on the last two plays. Jones with all sorts of time. Oh, what a grab. Justin Shorter. Hey, it certainly raises the excitement, raises the stakes. Well, after he ran for 40 yards earlier in the drive, it's only fitting that Pierce is the one who gets to cap it off as well. Their goal line closer with his ninth rushing touchdown of the season. By Justin Shorter on the drive, and Damian Pierce finishes it off. Up 35-3 to three on New Mexico State, and, you know, that's, that's sort of what you're supposed to do in these games. In Florida, the exact opposite. Tied at 28 against a 4-5 team from the FCS. And here goes Montreal Washington. He skipped through the defenders, and he's taking it all the way. The Bulldogs are back in front. Montreal Washington, touchdown. In all of the FCS, 
is just going to do it himself. Kind of just gets lost in the wash there and then just squirts out the back end and the Gators just get outrun to the end zone by Washington who's got better speed. What a player. And with the way that they're getting the ball out of the quarterback's hand so quickly, they're not getting a pass rush. A long down the sideline. And another huge completion. Jairus Creamer takes it from Welch. The Bulldogs remain on the move. On second down. He rolls away from pressure. He can scramble. He keeps going up the sideline. And Welch does it for a second time this afternoon. A touchdown run from the graduate quarterback. With this football team right now. Sanford just coming in here. Welch just does his best job. Personating a little Michael Vick. Action spins out. Now can they put anything else on the board here? There's the wheel right up the sideline. Naquan right into the end zone. Touchdown Gators. A much needed response before the end of the half. Token, but they need to look, they need this. Easy wheel route, the linebacker just lost in coverage there. Thomas Neville is completely uh, looking in the backfield from that Florida group. Jones had to look to the sideline. The hand wave was there, the open pass, and that's a touchdown. Nobody covered Malik Davis. He realized it before Jones did, and nobody was able to catch up with the running back. 42-41. Gators the more negative yardage plays. Welch, all sorts of time. Third and seven, throwing into traffic, and he's picked off. The Bulldogs blink for the first time today. And there's really good pressure here up the middle from the Sanford Bulldogs. Great job by Emery just getting outside the pocket, finds his, his uh, little safety valve Davis, the running back. On the sideline, then Davis just shows that he's a better athlete, and he just takes it to the house. Working against Edmonds. Jones dishes it out. A dive for the pylon gets Florida a touchdown, and the lead. Kamari Gamble has been everywhere this afternoon for the Gators. I like this tight end for the Gators, Gamble. I mean, he has shown a lot of ability. Obviously, having to replace Kyle Pitts, who was a, a top draft pick from a season ago with big shoes to fill. But Gamble's got. They're down in one. They take the shot to the end zone. Touchdown, Gators. Damian Pierce again. Looked like for a moment he was going to get tackled in the backfield. Like that. Wow. Brent Cox. First sack of the day, remarkably. Look at Enzone, a diving try by Washington. This one simply refuses to be stopped. Back in the ball town into a five foot ten frame. Samford is back within a touchdown. Five ten, buck seventy, man coverage, well thrown football right in there. One handed catch. Thirty three yard try for the North Texas transfer Zach Williams. And his field goal is good. Oh, he's got him wide open. Easy touchdown. Almost too easy to gamble. Jones is going to have great protection. Fakes the RPO. The way this game has gone, this is probably the right approach. Make it two slip tackles at least as Pierce gets inside the five, slips a third, and puts six more Gator points on the board. Low center of gravity in their pads. Like, watch the patience. Gets in there, kind of feels the leverage of the defense going across, cuts back, and he's in the end zone. Give Sanford a lot of credit, Mike. They showed up. I mean, they got off the bus and had the lead at halftime. In the end, Florida's got too many talented players. And you know, the cream sort of rises to the top, and that's what happened here in the second half.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.